morning ladies and welcome to Sunday Styling and the theme today is summertime and the living is easy. I'm Sarah from Artichoke and as many of you know already every season we work very very hard over a period of three to four weeks putting together a cohesive wardrobe that helps you look, feel fabulous but means that you save oodles of money because you don't buy things that don't quite work for you. Um, I hope you've all had a fabulous week. I had a day off yesterday and um, went to look at some cattle up near Croma with my husband, which is not everybody's cup of tea, but it's my idea of a hot date. So we had a great time. Um, following on from last week, we asked everybody where they lived and either all our Norfolk customers are very very quiet or nobody's watching because we had people from all over the country telling us where they were watching us from but about two from Norfolk so our question this week is quite pertinent because we've been told that from January the 1st bricks and mortar shops like us over a period of time will be allowed to reopen so we're actually preparing to reopen next week um, and the question we're going to ask today is once bricks and mortar shops reopen will you want to come back shopping with us so if it's a big yes please say yes if you feel that you'll still want to be shopping online just say online that would be fab um, so that's our question for today. Um, you said the wrong date. You said January. Oh. God, I don't know what day it is of the week. It's been a long time we've been shut up in the dark hole. I forgot what I was saying. June the 1st they're going to be reopening, not January. So yeah, if you want to continue shopping online, just say online. If you want to be coming to see us, that will be fab. Um, I have completely lost my thread now. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Somebody talk to me. Yeah, we'll move on from that. Of course, you always have to like and love. Push those little love and heart buttons because that helps us in Google land. So without further ado, we're just going to crack on and talk you through what we called our chambre collection for summer but as you can see it's not really chambre it's, it's just a beautiful bluebell blues bright colors lots of easy pieces for you to wear every day now as we're all about jeans we have pulled for you this season's uh, seasonal color for our angelica magic stretch jeans which have been featured on the Lorraine show now three times. Um, they're the ones that we all wear at Artichoke. When I use the word we, it's the royal we, but Donna wears them in the summer. Christine actually prefers the uh, 34 inch uh, monikers. And I know she's not working for us at the moment, but we really hope that once life gets back to normal, she will be rejoining the team. Um, these are a gorgeous bluebell color. Um, and they are retailing at £66 and they are a 32 inch leg. On me, I'm five foot seven, it's the mid rise to my tummy button. We also have the 7 8 version in this gorgeous lemon colour, which has been out of stock. We completely sold out of our 7 8 jeans uh, during the really severe lockdown when Germany was locked down. But Germany's open again now, so we've managed to get some more in. And even if you're not really a yellow person, just see how beautifully these jeans go with so many pieces that are on trend this season. So although it's a very, very trend-led colour, um, you don't have to wear it near your face. You know, you're wearing at the opposite end of your uh, body to your face so that you can wear it with confidence and be on trend with the colour. So those are the two jeans. 
Next we move on to our fabulous pull-on trousers, which of course we know you're all huge fans of. The eyeball, which most of us have got, with the two pockets at the back, so they're perfect for golf, because you can put your tees in the back pocket. They're high rise, pull on, hold your tummy in, and they've got the little cuff at the bottom. This is called Surf Blue, and I just thought it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous colour for summer. It just is a really practical colour because it will go with so many garments that you probably have in your wardrobe already. But it's just a fabulous option, and I know lots of ladies like to buy a colour a season just to ensure that they keep their stash of eyeballs up to date. I'm going to take the tags off these too. We'll just quickly do that. Got up late this morning. Well, I didn't get up late. I was reading in the bath, so um, got here a bit late. Uh, the other colour in the eyeball is this beautiful silvery grey, and I'm hoping that you can see that it is grey. Um, and this is a great alternative to ladies who just have a mental block about white because it's a colour that can be worn as easily as white and just looks fabulous for the summer. You've just popped a simple t-shirt on top and you have a really, really smart outfit here. So this is called Pale Grey on the website. Um, the eyeballs are online, these lemon coloured uh, seven eights are online, the blue uh, angelicas you're going to have to message us for. Uh, we haven't got any photography for them and I just haven't had time to take it yet. So uh, still you have to message us for white angelicas but they should be going online soon and definitely for the blue ones. So we've moved through uh, the trousers and our, uh, our jeans, we now move on to our lovely pull-on cropped uh, trousers from Stoman. We introduced you to these last week uh, during our navy story and it's the same thing. High-waisted, but the thing I love about them is that the crop follows the line of your leg so you don't have the bulk that's associated with most cropped trousers and they're a very, very flattering cut. Um, so these again are the Surf Blue, they are £48 and we have them as the alternative to white in the silver grey. Both these colours are online and the Surf Blue particularly we're getting short of smaller sizes. So um, my advice to you particularly with the Surf Blue is if you want that colour grab it now. The same goes for the raspberry that we showed you last week ladies. We are getting low on stock for um, normal sizes. So as always ladies we're asking you that if you see something that you like push that love button or the like. Um, and again, if you have any questions, I can't actually see your comments and your questions now, but as soon as this Sunday Live uh, video has finished, I'll go through them and I'll come straight back to you. So please keep commenting, please ask questions, because you will get a response as soon as this video is finished. Um, the other thing I forgot to do earlier on was ask you to share these with your friends. So if you can share this video with your friends, introduce Artichoke to um, ladies who might not already know us, we will be eternally grateful. And actually um, what we're doing for uh, web customers is we've introduced a Bring a Friend scheme. Um, I'm going to pop a blog up so that you understand how to do that. So we'll probably go into more depth about that next week once I've got the blog up. So there is a way that we can thank you for introducing your friends to Artichoke um, if you live far away with our Introduce a Friend scheme. Um, I've gone slightly off message, but we're back on message now with our white shorts from Stark. Um, these are just gorgeous, they're the Bermuda length so that you can wear them slightly shorter, longer even, <laughs> and then you can roll them up uh, for a more casual look. Um, 
I also like the uh, crops. I arrived in a denim pair of these this morning um, and I just wear them slightly rolled up. Um, and they're just really comfortable, they wash beautifully, they are just lovely, lovely garments, and they're both £59 each. As well as the white, we have them in red and navy, but this is one of the many items that are not online yet, but hopefully will be soon. Um, once we do open up, uh, we won't be open every day, we'll still be uh, closed two days a week so that we can do virtual shopping, for the ladies who live um, a long, long way away from here, here in Swaffham, and also for those of you who are still feeling slightly vulnerable, because shopping should all be about enjoying yourself, and if you're going to come here and just not relax, stay at home, and we'll be do our utmost to come to you. Um, we're also going to do by appointment uh, shopping for groups of girlfriends, because as women, we love shopping in packs, but until this lockdown is eased a lot more, you're not going to be able to. So if two or three of you want to meet in Swaffham and come here for a girls' day out, we're going to ask you to come on one of our by appointment days when the shop is officially closed so that we can accommodate you. Because, again, it's not going to be a great experience if half of you are in the shop and half of you are outside and then you have to swap round because we've got other customers coming in and out. So again, more about that um, once uh, next week, probably once the announcement is made, whether we can come back and open our shop properly. But as you can see, I'm spending a lot of time at the moment thinking things through and trying to work out how we continue to make shopping at Artichoke as relaxing and as fun as it always has been in the circumstances that we find ourselves in. So, we're moving on to our linen trousers. Now our linen trousers this season are actually a crop. They're from Pomodoro, they're a wide leg crop, and I, I haven't had a chance to try these on yet, but they tick a lot of boxes for me um, theoretically, so hopefully they'll look as gorge on as they do off and actually I have had Pomodoro trousers in the past and they have fitted. So where have I put my spectacle because I can't see a thing. Oh god. Can't see the specs. Oh here they are hidden behind your bag. Right so let me see how much they are. £61. Um, and again as we go through the tops you'll see that this is a great base colour on which to build on. And then we come on to our basic denim skirt, uh, which I think we pulled for Catherine when we did the Dress Me with her. Um, it's a Western style skirt, so it's got the five pockets, three at the front, two at the back, belt loops, on a bod, looks fab. This is a size 12, I'm a 12 to a 14, so it's a generous cut and it's a great alternative to jeans in the summer. And the best bit about this is the price point, which is £36, ladies. So this is a fabulous little skirt. It is online now, so if you just look for our denim skirt, you'll find it. Now, we need to also look at summer for little jackets. More as throwovers. Uh, they need to give us some warmth, but also they, we need to have uh, garments that we can just pop over our arms to protect them uh, because everybody is uh, more aware of this now about the sun and needing to actually protect ourselves from it. Um, there are also situations where you still really do need to keep your shoulders covered. Um, I know when we were in Spain last summer, every time we went into a church, we were asked to wear little jackets. Um, and, you know, if you just go into somewhere with aircon, you need the jacket to, to, to um, give you a bit of warmth. But I still feel very uncomfortable in some situations if I have my arms bare. 
Um, I'm trying to think of one at the moment and it's struggling to come to me, but I just think if you have your arms covered, sometimes you feel slightly smarter. So we've got this lovely Pomodoro jacket in the chambray colour. It's quite short-waisted, so it's a flattering length. Um, and if I just get my specs back on to see how much this is, it's £84. So again, ladies, you just pull little tops that you could put underneath it. Just a basic tee underneath. This is just going to be such a useful, useful cover-up as we go through this season. Great investment piece. And of course, it becomes a suit when you pop it with the crops. So we've now gone through our bread and butter pieces. The pieces that we make a, a, an investment in and that we hope will move from season to season. Oh no, we haven't quite done that because this, I put this in because this is actually our shirt from Pomodoro. It's called a geometric denim, I think. Um, it's not price, which is handy, but it is online. Um, this is great because this piece will work through all the seasons. You tuck it up, pop it in a pair of dark blue jeans with a blazer or a jacket over in the winter, fab. Pop it with a pair of white jeans, which I haven't actually got here, but pretend these are white, for the spring. Or indeed, just keep it with your navy trousers for the spring, fabulous too. In the summer, you can wear it as a popover. So you just unbutton it, pop a little tee underneath, and it becomes a little over jacket. So this is just such a, a cost per wear. This is such a good investment piece, and I think they're about 60 quid. Um, it's got the patch pockets, and I've worn it, and the patch pockets are in the right place if you've got big boobs, so that they don't accentuate it. So this is... This is a piece that is definitely coming in my wardrobe because I can just think of so many times I'm going to wear it. Um, <clears throat> so this is probably one of my favourite pieces this season, which you might think is a bit odd because it doesn't shout glamour, but actually it's one of those pieces that once you put it with others, it looks fabulous. With white jeans, this is amazing. I had so many comments when I tried this on and did a little video. Now we're moving back to our oversized shirts. You'll see that we featured these virtually in every styling session that we've done in one form or another because they're just so easy to wear. So they're a relaxed shape, they're a tunic length, and just look at them over these crops. That is just such a great look. Let's just pop them over there not so good. Let's pop them over the white shorts, which would be my favourite. Just fab. And then for those of you who are not confident to wear shorts, over the white crops. So you can see ladies, for £59, this is a piece that you're just going to wear and wear and wear. And then you can just tuck it in and it becomes a shirt for the winter. Great piece again, £59. We have this in the stripe, we have it in white, we have it in chambray. It's part of our essential collection, so it means that we can keep repeating it so it stays online for a long time. So this is a great investment piece too. Now we move on to our little boat neck t-shirts. Um, these are just a great shape as well because they've got the square neckline and the, the stripes are different uh, widths. So uh, the eye keeps moving. So it's a, it's a good stripe Breton for you to wear. We've got it in two colors for the summer. It's 26 pounds. It is short sleeve, but can you see ladies, the sleeves aren't that short. They cover your bat wings. So this is a great little tee to invest in. And we've got it in both colors. Here we have it with the pale blue. And again, that's just such a pretty little outfit, ladies. So 
If you need to top up your t-shirt collection this season, this is a great way to do it. I'm going to jump ahead because these are clearly in the wrong place. Um, you just move that back a bit. And move on to basic t-shirts. Now, um, as I jokingly said last week, we're not going to bring out white again because you will never forgive us. So we've now bought them out in the bluebell colour, which you can see is such a strong trend colour for this season, ladies. Look, as you go through here, look how many pieces are either this colour or have got this colour in them. So this is a really cost-effective way of bringing your wardrobe completely up to date. Spend 15 quid on a bluebell t-shirt and you just have the, one of the colour trends that are so strong this season. I wear a double XL in these. I would say that I'm a 16 because of my boobs, but I don't like things pulling. I can very easily get away with an XL. So if you assume that an XL is a fitted 16, then you can't go wrong. So a large is a fitted 14, a medium is a fitted 12, a small is a fitted 10. If you like an oversized look, a more relaxed look, go up a size, ladies. We also have them in the baby pink which is just an eternally popular colour. It looks great with people with silver hair, um, and it looks great with people with blonde hair. It's just a colour that we have a great sell through every single year, and the same with the baby blue. So if you like a softer colour palette, ladies, these are perfect for you. And then this is um, one of my favourites this season, in theory, because I haven't tried it on yet, but can you see the shape? And you see I have a wardrobe full of James Lakeland t-shirts, which are the bat wing shape. And I'm hoping that although it's um, that viscose material that um, is quite clingy, because it's oversized, it won't be clingy, it will drape. Well, I'm losing the necklace here. Um, and I just think that arm, is, I just think this is gorgeous. So um, I think this will find uh, its way into my wardrobe this summer, um, as long as I don't try it on and find that I was fantasizing about how lovely I look in it, which does happen quite a lot. You would be amazed how many things I buy for me. I get them here and think, oh my God, what was I thinking of? So the necklace is £36.50. Um, it's from Dante. They make beautiful costume jewellery. Like many of the pieces they've done this season, I think they've been really, really clever because by using a mixture of gold and silver uh, pendants, they've created a look that will help you move from silver to gold because gold is coming back as the trend colour for costume jewellery. Um, it's taking a while, but if you look at Vogue, you don't see any silver at all these days. It's all gold. But also it means that this piece will move you through the seasons. So you can you happily wear it with the silver as the dominant colour for summer. And then with the gold as the dominant colour either for the evening or uh, for the winter. So this is a really useful piece. And the um, little t-shirt is £29. Necklace online, t-shirt not yet. So what do you think about this piece, ladies? I think this necklace is gorgeous. Um, we just love Dante so much. Um, so I've done this slightly arse about face. But never mind. We will now move on to the jumpers. So um, we used this jumper last week as a splash of colour in our navy wardrobe. It's from Nina Marati, it's £39. Let's see the other colours that it comes in. And again, the bat wing is such a flattering shape, ladies, unless you are very hippy. If you have big hips, do not touch this shape with a barge pole because it stops just as your hips start. But if you have an hourglass figure or you have a tummy that you really want to, to cover up, um, these are perfect. When I said they would be online this week, of course I was lying through my teeth. I've got the photography done. Um, I'm going to try and get them up. Um, or I was going to say this evening. But actually this evening, 
we're having our first ever family Zoom quiz, which might end in tears, but we might actually surprise ourselves and find out that we have a fabulous time. Paddy's at home with us here in Norfolk and really would rather be in Montana, which is where he should have been, bless him, being a cowboy. But Georgie's still in um, Cheshire, and although I went to see her in February, I think, yeah, before we went to, when I went to Moda, so I saw her in February, she hasn't actually seen her dad since January. Um, but anyway, um, she's in Cheshire, we're in Norfolk, we're gonna have a Zoom quiz, and I'll report back on that later in the week. Talking of Zoom, now Anne, I haven't actually had time to message you, this is Anne Randall, you very kindly offered to uh, be our next victim with the dress me and uh, the uh, dilemma that you came up with is you wanted us to dress you twice really. The first is dressing you for Zoom meetings, which is uh, what we're going to do on Thursday darling, so I'll drop you a message and I'll put together um, the tops that we think you should wear to your Zoom meeting, but I don't think it should stop at tops. I don't think you should do anything in tracky bottoms, apart from clean your lavvy or muck out the animals. So we're gonna do bottoms as well. And then Anne um, has done incredibly well. She's gone down two dress sizes, but we are going to put together an aspirational wardrobe for her in a few weeks time. Um, showing her what, how we think that she should dress when she gets down to a size 16. So her first one is the Zoom one this week, and then in about three or four weeks' time, we'll do the aspirational wardrobe. So Anne, you need to be here at five o'clock on Thursday, and so does everybody else to see how to dress for a Zoom meeting. Hopefully there'll soon be things of the past. Um, so we've done the little jumpers, which will get us through the summer. Now this is uh, one of our basic uh, loop back uh, one size sweatshirts. Um, it fits a size 10 oversized and goes up to a fitted 18 to 20. And actually I've seen it on a size 10 and I've seen it on a size 20 and both look fab. I think the way it works is because it's got this very, very dropped sleeve. I think that's how it works. But just how looks how gorgeous this looks with white. So this is just fab for now. This would be a great weight for today, just to chuck over a pair of jeans. Just a really easy piece in this gorgeous, gorgeous on-trend colour. And that is £33 online. Now we move to the viscose v-neck top, which is one of our basics for this summer. It's actually the top that I was wearing for Sunday Styling last week in navy. We now have it with the ecru, and it's just a really good basic top because of its square shape, which clearly is not a flattering description, but it just means that it covers all your lumps and bumps. The V-neck is a very, very flattering uh, shape and its softness means that it will tuck into jeans. So this will look great in a navy wardrobe, in a black wardrobe, in a neutral wardrobe. Um, I'm in a brown wardrobe. I'm trying to think of a wardrobe this colour wouldn't actually fit in. Um, and it is £32. It's online. We have it in this ecru colour. We have it in navy and we have it in black. Great, great basic piece. Now we've got all, all our basics almost sorted out. No, we haven't. We'll just move to this one. So now we have the basic vests. So Lots of shops sell camis, but we don't because uh, most of our customers, not all of you, but most of us need a certain degree of scaffolding to keep everything above sea level these days. And so a cami is not a great look. I and mean, when I was younger, I loved showing off my bra straps. Now they are so hideous and so wide that really nobody wants 
wants to see them. Sexy is not a way that I would discover, dis describe my underwear. So what we need is slightly wider straps to cover them. But here, as you can see, we've got the very, very pretty lace detailing. So with the V-neck and the lace detailing here, and then if I turn it round, it's got the lace detailing down the back as well. So it is a very, very basic garment that you could slip underneath the jacket, but actually works well on a hot day as a standalone piece. And again, I showed you the Ecro because it will go with every wardrobe. And this little uh, vest tee is £25. But with the uh, colourful wardrobe that we have here, navy is probably the best colour to put into it. So you've just got this with your seven eighths looking fab. You just pop it over this pair of jeans as well. Looks great. And actually, we can put the Ecru one underneath the denim skirt. Now, I have tried these on very quickly, and um, I would say they're not particularly generous. So, um, yeah, you might want to consider going up a size depending on your body shape. But if you're uncertain, give us a call because these are not online yet. Again, I didn't have any photography and I haven't had time to take photographs of them. So message us about those and then we can chat about the sizing. Now we've got through our basics. We're now allowed to move on to loveliness. So our loveliness this season is predominantly actually, yeah, virtually all of it for our tops is from Tinta, which is this beautiful Spanish make. As you know, ladies, most of the garments that we sell are made in Europe. Um, and this is uh, because we just can be more assured of the quality. Um, and I don't know, we just think that stuff made in Europe is just nicer, quite frankly. So uh, we stick to what we know um, obviously it protects the environment, not, not trucking it halfway across the universe. But the main reason we stick to stuff that's made in Europe is because we just, just like the styles better. So this is from Tinta. Oops. And I'll just show you over this. I mean, isn't that a gorgeous outfit? But this equally will go with these jeans here. And I think you'll remember last week, ladies, me telling you that the clever thing about the Tinta um, tops that we buy is that there are very few colours that are not in it. So they move really easily through your wardrobe. You can wear them with lots of things you already have. Um, so this has got, if I look closely, just quickly, it's got two shades of grey, it's got black, it's got pink, it's got this Air Force blue colour, it's got purple, it's got orange, it's got two shades of yellow, it's got another orange, it's got brown, it's got turquoise. I'm getting boring now, but hopefully you'll see what I mean. They are just such clever, clever pieces. So that's seventy-five pounds. Um, a really lovely, easy piece to wear, made from viscose, so you don't do sweaty betty. This I just think is is gorgeous. Just look at this with the crops, ladies. Isn't that just such a lovely piece? But then just look at it with white too. And without coming too repetitive, I'm sure that you're getting my drift about how versatile these tinted blouses are. And this one is 59, it's very lightweight. You can screw this up in a ball, take it on holiday, unfurl at the other end, and um, it will be fabulous. So what do you think about holidays this year, ladies? Do you think we're gonna get away? Or do you think that we're all gonna be piling into sunny honey? Um, 
it might be a nice opportunity for some of us to actually see parts of this country that we've never actually been to. Um, I was going to actually, do you know what, I was supposed to be in Turkey now. Oh my God, this is my holiday week. You can see how I've lost track of time. So this week I was supposed to be in uh, Turkey with Nicola, who's my non-sister sister, long story. Neither of our mothers were particularly maternal. So that, and Helga might be watching this, so she might hit me next time she sees me. But neither of our mothers were particularly mumsy types. So what they used to do was take it in turns to look after us. Well, that's what we think anyway. Helga might be very offended and telling a different story. So although Nicola and I are absolutely no blood relation whatsoever, we did actually grow up together. So Nicola and I were supposed to be in her house in Turkey, having a lovely relaxing time this week. Um, and then I was going to go to Malaga with a few uh, girlfriends in the autumn because we uh, go on these uh, art trips each uh, year and we all wanted to see the Alhambra. So um, I'm not sure we'll be doing that either. Uh, but I am still in my head putting together um, an additions to my holiday wardrobe just in case I do escape these shores uh, at some point this year. And um, the item that I think I will definitely be popping in is this. Again, it's from Tinta. It's £56. I just love the sort of sports luxe feel that it has to it. So it's very soft to wear. It's very cool. Um, it will just be e very easy to pop over um, when you're in a hotter climate. And that's going to sparkle. The lovely silvering sports luxe detail will come into its own. And the V-neck is always uber flattering pop it with a pair of white shorts and it just will look great um, another one now this one I was in two minds whether to actually pop it in today or not because we were actually sold most of these as we unpacked them um, again it's from Tinta lovely bright colour the price is £75 but we only have it left in a 12 and an 18. I think that's the right sizes. Um, I just need to put the specs on again. I've left my old ladies glasses at home, like I've seen over the top of those. Yeah, 12 and a, 12 and a 14, not 12 and an 18. So these are the two sizes we've got left, look great with white, look great with navy, look great with everything. Now we move back to the piece that we suggested you bought uh, as part of your chambray spring collection. It's a three quarter sleeve and it's this lovely uh, pattern that reminds me of Orla Keeley. Um, it looks great in the uh, spring. If we just pop this under here now with a pair of white jeans, it's going to look cracking. Uh, so this is a piece that you would have invested in, look at that, on the beach if we are summering in the UK on a cooler day. So this is a piece that you would have invested in the spring, you would have been wearing quite a lot already, but you're not going to put it away, it's going to move into the summer too, and it's £35. So this is a really, really useful piece. Now we move on to our little bit of loveliness tops. So this is the um, pleated top from James Lakeland. I'm just going to pop it with that. So you can see with your silver seven eighths. And then we've got the necklace that's picking out the silver of the seven eighths over the blue. And you've got a really, really lovely, smart outfit. Um, again, very easy to wear. Again, a very, very flattering shape because it's got the drop sleeve. Um, and I'm just going to pop the trousers back, keep the top out so that I can see how much it is. So this is £49, but it's got a third off. Oh gosh, 25, got no idea. 20, 20, 
Oh, it's about 30 odd quid. Let's go for about 30 pounds. Can anybody do the sums? Can somebody out there tell everybody else how much this is going to cost? Because I've got no idea. <laughs> But anyway, if there's a lovely lady out there who can actually count and let us know, that would be fabulous. So uh, the necklace is 33.50. Now, we showed you last week, and I can't remember what it was. Ah, it was the vintage floral dress that had zero hanger appeal, but looks fabulous in a body. I've got another example this week. Now, if this was on a hanger, I'm sure most of you would look at it and say you're having a laugh because I, you know, there is no hanger appeal whatsoever. I'm just gonna whistle it off the hanger and put it up against my body. Can you see, ladies, that it is just such a flattering cut it's such a pretty colour, it is so easy to wear and with the tropical pattern which is a very very strong season, uh, a strong uh, tr uh, pattern this, this season, because it's in the slightly muted colours it's just a lot easier for people to wear. Um, so again this is just another example of why you shouldn't just ignore things that, that look like a bag of spanners on a hanger. And when we're suggesting for you to try things on, we're not being uber pushy. It's just that we know what they look like on. Um, and if you actually think about it, this ticks a lot of people's boxes. V-neck placket. Collar, so there's no button here. It shows a V-neck. The collar, a longer short sleeve, and then it's gathered from the bottom of the placket so that it covers your tummy. And then it's a straight shift at the back. So another example, ladies, of something that looks like a bag of spanners on the hanger. Look at the pockets. Everybody loves a pocket. But actually it's a fabulous dress when you actually try it on. So this is from Pomodoro, it's 67 pounds, I think. So this coast, so again, very, very easy fabric to wear in the summer. And then this is it in another colorway. It's exactly the same style. So it's the V-neck placket, a collar to cover your neck, a slightly longer short sleeve, the tuck here to cover your tummy. And if you notice with this one, the pattern is stronger at the bottom of the dress, so it takes your eye down. So those of you with tummies, this just pulls the eye down. And again, it has got pockets, which I'm struggling to find at the moment, but the pockets are there. So these are two found little dresses, as is this one, which is from Erfo. Now we pulled this for Catherine for her uh, dress me, because Catherine is very conscious of her tummy, but she's flat chested. So I thought actually as it is part of this collection, I would pop it in again this week for those of you who missed Catherine's Dress Me session. The reason it is so flattering is because it has the pleats at the neckline. So if I just hold my hand out to put a slight bust into it, it's a, it's a, it's a smallish scoop neck, but it has the pleats so that they go out and it falls from your bust and so covers your tummy. It is also the most gorgeous pattern. This is in a very, very light lawn weight cotton, so it's perfect for high summer. Um, I have several Erfo dresses. I absolutely adore them. And I think actually I might have sold my size in this already. If I haven't, it will be coming home with me. They're very, very easy to pack. They just tick a lot of boxes. Um, as usual, this is not priced. I think it's just over 100, 100 pounds. 110, you wouldn't be going far wrong. But the quality, ladies, is exceptional. Erfo have everything made in Europe. 
And so my dresses that are three or four years old, they look as if they're absolutely brand new. The, the quality in these is absolutely beautiful. Now, we introduced this dress to you during the spring um, chambray styling. It's from James Lakeland. Um, again, it has a third off, so it is reduced to a uh, hundred pounds. I said jokingly um, earlier about me picking stuff for me. I picked this for me. I thought I would look gorgeous in it. I look absolutely hideous. And it is because it's for ladies with hips. If I just undo this. So with me, it pulls across here, but it's too, can you see how it's going out from the hip ladies? Um, so if you're hippie, it will look fabulous on you. You need to be pear shaped or have an hourglass figure for this. Um, about which I'm devastated because I love it. Um, and I've pulled it again today to show you that you had that occasion you went to wearing it. You looked a million dollars. You've worn it as a dress. It's now high summer. You have another occasion that you would like to go to. So you wear it as a jacket. And for those ladies who don't like their legs, this would just be a perfect uh, occasion piece. This can, I have I got everything into, into, into camera so you can see it. So you've paid a hundred quid, which is not a lot for a dress anyway. Um, and it is seeing you through lots and lots of occasions. And then when it's a hundred years old, you just wear it to the beach. Now we move on to the final piece, which is uh, the little tennis dress that I'm wearing. Um, I thought that uh, I would pop this on. Um, again, it's not normally my style, but it is actually something that I probably would wear at the moment for lockdown at home. Um, it's great for golf. It's, it's just a fabulous dress to wear on the golf course. Um, the reason that I'm saying it's not really my style is because I don't really wear a lot of dresses. I really am a separate person <clears throat> and the reason I don't wear a lot of dresses is I always thought that they didn't fit me properly but I don't know what's happened, things seem to have changed. So this is a large. Now it fits me on the shoulders, usually I'm a 16 because of my chest but clearly this is stretching across it so I would say ladies if you're a proper 16 rather than a chesty 16 go for the XL this is actually a size 14 and we've got the lovely placket here it's just soft it's comfortable and rather than wearing jogging bottoms at home I think that this would be my lockdown outfit for the summer mm. 29 pounds it's a bargain and it's made of air tags, which takes me back to my youth with our, with our PE kit. Ours was raw blue with yellow on it. And um, do you know what? My mum, when, we, when I first went to the convent when I was 11, my grandma bought me my school uniform. And my um, PE skirt came down to about here. When I left the convent at 16, my PE skirt was up to here and my mother saw no reason to invest in a new one for me when I went to the boys school for sixth form. So the first sports day, sports day was uh, Wednesdays, I rock up, I put on my very short skirt and you know being a convent girl everybody laughs but although we're buggers once we leave the convent we're very naive when we're there so I couldn't really see what the problem was with it either. I played hockey for one week and those bastard boys kept hitting my ankles so I didn't do hockey after that. The next week the rugby master suggested that I could play rugby so, you know that machine they push with their shoulders? <laughs> he, he, honestly, he was horrible. He suggested I went at the front <laughs> in my penis skirt that was 
that short to do rugby. After that, I did granny bashing. No more sport for me. I went and smoked fags in the old people's home around the corner every Wednesday, which was the um, other option. So my sporting career, such as it was, finished at 16. Anyway, it was air text that got me back onto that, ladies. Um, I've lost my thread again. <laughs> right. I'm no longer 16 and being humiliated by that rugby master. He was horrible. Right, handbags. We have bucket handbags. These are fab. They're a good size because it means that you can't put lots and lots of um, things in them. Excuse my French, that was a technical term. We have a lot of technical terms here at Artichoke. Um, it has a crossbody strap inside here. You see it's a really, really good size. And we've got it today in three gorgeous colours. This is a great investment because it is very, very neutral. So if you are the sort of lady that never changes your handbag, this is the one for you because you can wear it in winter as well. This one is for those of us who want a high summer handbag very frivolous but actually this would look gorgeous in the winter with black mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. it would really really lift an outfit so um yeah ignore me i'm talking a little old twaddle and this of course is great for now but it's also a great winter handbag as well so for 54 quid ladies you've got an italian hat leather handbag with crossbody strap it's got all the pockets inside um, and they're all online. I think this is called the bucket bag online. And then finally, we're back to our scarf. We showed you these last week. They're not going online. But what I'll try and do, it, actually I've done a video of them already. What I'll do is the video I've done of them, I'll pop up on a blog. And then you can pick your colour and um, just message us uh, if you want to buy them. But they are sarong width. Very, very pretty colours, £19 with free postage and packing. So ladies, I hope that you have enjoyed today's Sunday styling. We've moved everything back into the shop. I don't know if you can just show the ladies what the shop looks like at the moment. It is an absolute tip, but at least it's not in my sitting room anymore. But by this time next week, the shop will look like a shop again so that if we are given permission to open um, on June the 4th, I think it is, we will be ready for you. Um, so what are we up to this week? Um, we were going to look around the cattle this week with me on Tuesday, but I think, ladies, I'm going to have to delay that because we've got a lot of work to do. I think I'm using the Royal Week. I've got a lot of work to do to get this shop ship shape for you. I'm also going to do a practice session with Linda. Um, she, we, what we're going to do is we're going to have a pretend virtual shopping consultation that we're going to record so that we can actually put it on a blog and we can put it on social media to help you understand how this is going to work. Um, so it means that um, if you uh, live the other side of the country, um, physically can't get into the shop, or if you're still feeling slightly vulnerable about life and really would rather not come shopping, it's a way of us bringing the shop to you. Thursday is um, Anne's Dress Me with Zoom meetings. Uh, we've got Tina we're doing the following week. Um, she's asked us to, to dress a tall bird because she comes from Essex. So um, those were her words. Mine would not be the same because I left Essex a long time ago. Um, but she, um, she, you need to send me that photo, Tina, because I still don't know what you look like. So if Tina can send me the photo, I'll be doing her uh, the next week. She met us because she comes up to Sharingham a lot in the summer. Um, and so that's how she became an artichoke customer. So Tina, if you are watching that, us, I need that photo. So um, next week really is all about preparation for getting the shop open. Um, as I have five minutes, I will be bunging more stuff online. Uh, we have made the decision, ladies, 
that we will continue doing this. So uh, lots on social media. Uh, there will we will be a lot more organised about getting our winter collection online. By then, I hope to have Donna back. And Linda has very kindly volunteered to help us so that in August and early September we'll be able to get the entire collection online for you to, to view from the beginning of the season. Um, I hope you all have a fabulous week. Um, I hope that those of you who have ventured back to work over the past couple of weeks are enjoying it. And I hope that those of you who are still locked up are not going too stir crazy. Thank you for joining us for Sunday Styling. We'll see you again on Thursday. As always, thank you so much for your support in still buying with us. The orders are still coming in um, really, really well. In fact, we're probably um, on parity as far as turnover is concerned with what our Ely shop took this time last year. Ely had a crap year last year, which is why we shot it. But even so, it's a good example of how amazingly you are supporting us and we really, really cannot thank you enough. And also thank you so much to all the ladies who are introducing us to your friends, who are liking the comments, who are sharing things. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a fabulous week and join us again on Thursday at five o'clock to dress me. Thank you very much indeed, ladies.